Good morning. Uh, this is a July 11th. Uh, Saturday is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning in Japan here. So today is, uh, we want to uh, deliver a new program. Uh, this, all by, uh, this is the EVM Academy. So uh, we try to provide uh, very useful contents for especially young surgeons. So today's program topic is uh, vascular surgeons uh, distal bypass is a very, very popular uh, procedure and a very essential technique and uh, skills uh, needed, especially in Asian countries. So today is, uh, okay, uh, can you see us? Yep. All right, I'm just uh, checking the monitors. All right, okay. So again, still uh, we are struggling with uh, some technical uh, issues with uh, Zoom. So again, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Yang Kwan Park, uh, president of the EVM Corporation. I'm also a biomedical engineer, so and today's MC. So today uh, we want to deliver the uh, distal bypass technique, a way of thinking and strategies. So this program is uh, very focused on uh, vascular surgeons, especially in not only the Japanese surgeons, it's uh, we are focusing on Asian countries like uh, China, uh, Singapore, or uh, like uh, India, uh, Indian colleagues. So today's our uh, honorable re lecturer is uh, Professor Nobuyoshi Azuma, uh, and I, and uh, Professor Dr. Akio Koyama. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so uh, Dr. Azuma, uh, thank you for joining us, uh, this EBM Academy program. So uh, today, uh, our topic is a uh, distal bypass. Is distal bypass, uh, uh, what's the importance of this procedure, especially for vascular surgeons and patients? Yeah, so thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. And then uh, welcome to this uh, web training course. Um, so I'd like to talk about uh, uh, attractiveness and then uh, uh, of the distal bypass today. Uh, it's a kind of a treasure ship uh, to uh, uh, get your uh, surgical, not only surgical skill, but also way of thinking. Uh, to master the vascular sense, vascular surgeon's thinking. So uh, I'm very uh, pleasure. I, I'm pleasure. Um, great pleasure to uh, get this uh, opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Azuma, you already <laughs> organized uh, some several workshop for uh, young surgeons, right? It's called right. bypass workshop. So can yeah. you tell me uh, briefly about the distal bypass workshop experience? Yeah, so uh, in Japan, uh, Japanese Society of Vascular Surgery uh, Society uh, doing our distal bypass workshop once per year. So I started that for uh, maybe uh, six years ago. Then uh, so far, maybe uh, I think it's more than 300 Vascular surgeon or cardiovascular surgeon uh, had the experience of the uh, vascular surgical course. And then, uh, then next last year, we performed the uh, digital bypass workshop in Asia. So I uh, realized that uh, many vascular surgeons in Asia want to learn the digital bypass. Uh, then um, several, uh, maybe 16 surgeons uh, visited Tokyo to uh, attend the digital bypass workshop in Asia. Uh, that's very important to uh, get together, then uh, talking, discussing uh, uh, so tips and way of thinking uh, to do a digital bypass to get the success. Mm. All right, Dr. Azuma, so uh, now we are encountering, uh, we have the COVID-19 issues. Yeah. So uh, post the COVID-19, so maybe this kind of the online workshop style mm -hmm. is uh, very, yeah. very necessary uh, 
uh, yeah. to deliver our, uh, your technique and uh, way of thinking strategy to yeah. Asian countries, young surgeons, right? That's Asian. right. All That's right. Correct. So uh, today is the uh, first section is uh, Dr. Azuma's uh, didactic lecture about the distal bypass. So I'm really uh, exciting, thrilled to listen uh, online. And also after second, our session is uh, Dr. Uh, Koyama's uh, online live oxygen training, simulation mm. training, right? So uh, I'm going to ask uh, some interview. Uh, Dr. Koyama, hi. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So uh, actually, um, how um, how long you, you're, how many years are you supposed to graduate, firstly, your career? Just tell me briefly. Uh, career? Yeah, career, yeah. How long? Um, in in, in basket. Um, um, I'm career is um, three years uh, general uh, uh, general surgeon and a lot of, about ten years I work in a vascular surgeon. Ten years as a vascular surgeon. Yes. Okay. So, well, what you gonna introduce uh, today's uh, second sessions uh, on the live training sessions? Uh, this uh, this session is uh, the. Uh, this is a bypass dry lab training. It is uh, useful. Uh, I, <coughs> I practice uh, about two or three times a week this uh, bypass training. Uh, two it, or three times per week. Three times. Right? It, it, it tracks, but uh, it's uh, the distal bypass is uh, not so a lot, so we we can practice this procedure. I I inter introduce this procedure later. Thank you. Later. Thank you. So online, right? So uh, okay. So audiences, so please, uh, we we try to deliver the online live uh, simulation training this after session. So. Uh, Firstly, uh, Dr. Azuma, so please uh, start your didactic lecture about the distal bypass, technique, skill, and also way of thinking. So, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, yep, your monitor is shared. So, Dr. Azuma, please start. Yes. So, uh... I would like to talk about our brush up distal bypass and vascular surgeon's way of thinking and strategies. I'm from Asahikawa, Japan, uh, located here, center of the Hokkaido. And then Tokyo is here. So between Tokyo and Asahikawa, there is uh, 1,000 kilometer. But uh, Asahikawa, big mountains, group of big mountains surrounding Asahikawa, so uh, very calm and uh, uh, great thing. I like to live in Asahikawa. Also, I would like to show that Asahikawa zoo, Asahiyama Zoo. In the winter, um, the penguins walking. Well, this is very famous. Like this. Sorry. So, uh, today's agenda is uh, first of all, why is this important in the era of diabetes? and then uh, tips of surgical skill for this bypass. Then uh, this is the important part, the way of thinking and the strategy as a vascular surgeon. And finally, how should we overcome these difficult cases? But the first of all, the first, I'd like to talk about uh, why is this bypass important in the era of diabetes. This is a very famous slice. And then there are several risk factors uh, causing a uh, atherosclerotic lesion in uh, lower extremities. Uh, so hypercholesteremia and smoking uh, makes a rather uh, proximal arterial lesion, but diabetes uh, leads an uh, infrapopular arterial lesion with uh, microangiopathy. Uh, this is a typical angiogram of uh, di diabetic atherosclerosis. 
then uh, three all of three are uh, are best artery occluded or severely stenotic but uh, there are still a uh, good target in the foot artery but uh, in many cases arterial network in the foot are broken the still bypass surgery, bypass graft bring the very high blood pressure to these foot arteries and uh, maybe open the, uh, some uh, closed network. So I believe that the bypass surgery has a potent, uh, uh, potent uh, revascularization procedure for this kind of disease, physio uh, pathophysiology. But unfortunately, uh, so end of uh, bypass surgery, uh, number of the bypass surgery are decreasing and decreasing in these days. This is a little old data from United States. The endovascular treatment rapidly grows. Then uh, in two, already 2006, uh, the number of the endovascular treatment are overcoming the uh, bypass surgery. Then next, uh, 2012, uh, European Society of Cardiology guideline recommend the uh, endovascular first strategy should be considered in the infrapropriteal arterial region. No was regarding uh, bypass surgery. This is, uh, so this guideline have also too much uh, emphasis uh, EVT then uh, next six years later, same guideline uh, changed uh, drama drastically. And six years later, uh, bypass using the great saphenous vein is indicated uh, in a very strong recommendation uh, level. But these six years are very long term. Then uh, too, it's too late to. <laughs> Uh, so now, so, so six these uh, background distal bypass has become a kind of en endangered species. But so we worry about vascular surgeon worry about that the endangered our uh, surgical skill. So uh, we performed the first distal bypass workshop in Asia, and then eighteen surgeon from six countries uh, uh, attended this. Uh, workshop to come to Tokyo. Then uh, we discuss the situation of each countries and also we discuss uh, uh, this kind of workshop should be continued every year. <clears throat> uh, then um, I would like to talk about the tips of surgical skill. This is a uh, uh, completion angiography of typical distal bypass. Uh, this bypass uh, from common femoral artery to, uh, I think, lateral plantar artery. This is bypass graft. Very fast flowing. Then anastomosis is the lateral plantar artery here. Then the distal bypass surgery is uh, composed of four components, I think. Uh, so first of the word that the inflow evaluation and proximal target selection, graft selection and its manipulation, distal target selection and outflow evaluation, and finally, surgical skill and decision-making skill. So these four components are very important to get the success of the distal bypass. But uh, today I would like to talk about uh, distal target selection and the surgical and later two part. Regarding distal target selection and outflow evaluation, this is a, a case to bypass to the uh, lateral plantar artery. Lateral plantar artery, plantar artery, uh, inner diameter of the and the around uh, is around one millimeter. Uh, this is a uh, dorsal space artery bypass, and uh, in the inner diameter of dorsal space artery is uh, 
almost 1.5 millimeter. So we need to uh, think about uh, um, is the target is disease free or was uh, disease, severe disease uh, calcification, severe calcification, uh, distal runoff, and angiosome. These four points, uh, thinking these four points, then decide or distal target select target. I mean, I'd like to show the case. Uh, this male patient had a, a very bad, very dangerous, uh, deep gangrene on his uh, dorsals and lateral side of his foot. Then this is DSA. Uh, both uh, plantar and dorsal space artery, we can do a bypass surgery, but the uh, plantar side are very poor enough. Then uh, this is plain X-ray. Um, so there is a, you can see the calcification in you know, X-ray of the artery, uh, calcification of the artery you can see. But uh, this is a space of calcium free area segment. Then we decided uh, an asthmos by passage to here, like this. Then patient uh, that, um, getting a wound free uh, after three months. This is different case. This case also had a severely uh, calcified artery. Then a posterior tibial artery system was all occluded. We need to do a, a bypass surgery to dorsal space artery. You can see that severely calcified, but this is calcium free segment here. Maybe this is also a little bit uh, right calcification. So, so at this case, uh, maybe we should place the toe of the anastomosis it should be best artery, best position of the artery. So maybe toe should be here, then here, here. Then maybe anastomosis uh, place like this. Next topic is the shaping of anastomosis. We need to ima image the blood flow. Uh, this is an ideal shape of end to side anastomosis in the textbook. The orifice uh, size should be uh, uh, twice of the uh, graft diameter. Also, that this angle is very important, 30 degree. Why is this 30 degree? So we should image the, uh, imagine that the uh, blood flow so this is 30 degree and this is 60, more than 6 degree. So if you anastomose like here, like this, flow, uh, go reach to the uh, arteries floor, but around here or here, uh, maybe lower shear, lower shear stress or uh, turbulent flow. Then maybe uh, maybe several months or several years later, uh, intimal hyperplasia will occur. Then anastomotic stenosis, uh, maybe uh, occur practice like anastomosis. Thirty degree, maybe um, toward flow is okay, laminar flow, but the heel side, uh, the turbulent or rosia stress area, but. Uh, what the flow is okay. So 30 degree anastomosis is uh, important. This is a dorsopedis uh, artery bypass completion angio uh, after dorsal space artery bypass. And 30 degree looks good. However, uh, this is front view. In front view, uh, the graft uh, coming from inside then this is makes some an angle. The vein graft is not same as a uh, arterial graft and easy to the constriction and the kinking is easy to occur like this. This is problematic. So at this case, that thread from toe 
should the place should be placed not here maybe two 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 point rotating here here side also here then like this no, no kinking uh, we can avoid maybe avoid the uh, kinking or constriction <clears throat> Can you see that? So thread from toe should be here, not here. <clears throat> this is tamate back model. Tamate back means a um, treasure box in a very famous Japanese fairy tale. And then uh, this is training kit. Uh, uh, Mr. Park and I uh, invented this. Uh, the, this is also Invented, uh, being graph model is also invented. Then being graph, being graph through here or here, here. This is the many situation in the clinical setting. So a trainer should train every hole, every this direction. This I think, and also you can change the depth of the target. I think this is a good model to run and skill up, brush up your skill. Maybe uh, later, Dr. Uh, Koyama uh, can try this. So next topic is this anastomosis technique. Before anastomosis, you can, you should, you have to uh, shaping the anastomosis, the vein graph side. Uh, <clears throat> if you cut this, uh, cut a graph like this, Maybe you need to cut the back like this. Then you should try, try you should do a try trimming of this edge. But if you trimming, try like this, very shape, uh, sharp shape, this is not good because uh, losing a patch effect. So shape should be round like this. Then uh, have a patch effect on the anastomosis side, toe side. This is very important. <clears throat> uh, she is my cat, my dear friend, uh, Mew, named Mew, Mew, old girl. Then uh, some text book show that cat's hand shape is recommended, like round like this. So she, Next topic is sh uh, suturing. Uh, this is uh, a textbook, very famous textbook. And then this recommend the parachute anastomosis from both, he both heel side and toe side using two threads. Uh, I'm doing like this technique uh, in a uh, big, very big uh, size artery. But uh, for small size artery, I prefer to press three or five interrupted suture on toe side. Then uh, this is a heel side parachute, parachute suture of the heel side. This is a dorsal space artery. And uh, this is a maybe very cultural artery here, but uh, this is only one. Um, like this, uh, five or five uh, parachute stitches here. Then, uh, then next toe side, five interrupted suture here in toe. So like this shape, maybe similar like this shape. So this slide demonstrates the merits of interrupted suture at toe side. 
uh, I think, I believe that uh, it avoids a drawstring effect. The interrupted suture can make a room when the artery uh, recover from spasm. Also, you can use a new needle. Tip of needle has become dull sometimes when suturing a calcified artery in one thread. So you can change the thread, uh, then you can get the sharp tips. Also, if stenosis will appear or occur during operation or later, you can revise it easily. This is an uh, interrupted suture. So you, if you cut this thread, other sides are still okay. So you can just simply cut toe, then pat patching. Otherwise, if you're running suture, it's a little bit troublesome. So uh, this is easier, easy, I think. Then uh, I would like to talk about the way of thinking as a vascular surgeon. Um, this is important. Uh, first of all, physical force in vascular system we need to think. Already I explaining like this, uh, uh, fluid mechanics is very important for vascular surgeons, head, brain. Also, we need to understand vascular wall response to surgical injury. I would like to talk about later. Then uh, so finally, understanding patient backgrounds, including general status, blood coagulability, wound healing ability, and etiology of vascular disease and its background. So patient has diabetes or dialysis or some other uh, uh, coagulability, coagulopathy or something like that. Uh, this uh, photo is a scanning electro electron microscopy finding of the inside of the artery, uh, experimental study, and after one day after bypass surgery. So dark side, dark place here, uh, endothelial cells are existing, but other side, other uh, gray area, having many many small spots. It's a no endothelial cell, denuded. Endothelial cell are denuded. It's called de endothelialization. The small spot is a platelet. Platelet has a, a great affinity uh, to the collagen. So under the endothelial cell, collagen uh, appear, then platelet uh, adhesion. Then uh, coagulation cascade are activated. That's very important. So uh, this intimal damage will cause not only early graft occlusion, but also late graft stenosis. This is scheme of this uh, event. First of all, first EC damage, endocellular cell damage occur, then platelet uh, uh, adhesion and activation, then leukocyte, uh, and also that adhesion molecule appeared. Then leukocyte adhesion adhesion uh, this molecule, and then infiltration. Then uh, growing releasing growing factor or cytokine. Then thrombosis occur or uh, like this uh, uh, cell in, uh, migration or the proliferation occurred. Also, we need to know the uh, inside of the vein grafts. This is also our development experiment in uh, using a dog canine. Um, this is before implantation. Vein graft has a good endocellarization, but uh, two days after bypass surgery, almost all endocellular cells are gone. Maybe it takes three weeks to get uh, re endocellarization. Therefore, inner surface is very important, not outside looking. So this is a vein graft bypass surgery. This is a vein graft. Vein graft should be endocellarized in the surface or, or, or conduit. And then all the way. Then uh, anastomotic side also endocellarized. So if uh, endocellular cell damage is not occurred, 
blood go through entirely endocellularized surface, which will lead long-term durability. So we need to minimize endocellular damage. Therefore, uh, if you train a tamatebako, uh, you need to check the inside of the uh, anastomosis, after anastomosis, <laughs> like this. The aiming smooth inner surface all covered by intimer, you need to aim like this uh, smooth inner surface covered by the uh, intima into cell cell. So th this is important uh, theory for the vascular uh, thinking, way of thinking. The very famous uh, Torea, Torea, Prince of Thrombogenesis. So three uh, factors. There are three factors, blood content, blood itself, or, and vessel wall, and blood flow. So if one of them uh, exists, uh, thrombo thrombosis will occur. If two of them exist, maybe thrombosis is very frequently occur, like this thinking. So I already showed that the vessel wall is important. Also blood flow is important. Maybe patient uh, with a diabetes or as, as a uh, atherosclerotic disease, blood also uh, have a high 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 hypercoagulability or some uh, abnormality, or some patient has maybe uh, some antibody uh, or something uh, collagen disease or something. So we need all always. Uh, think about these three of three component, three factors during a surgery, also before surgery also important. So we have thinking based on vascular biology is loaded to a master of vascular surgeon. I believe this. So and uh, regarding our uh, difficult cases, uh, first of cases are fighting with severe calcified artery. This is very severe. No space, no space of free calcification. So we are doing like this. This is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, hard, but this is very hard. So this, uh, we cut this, but not easy to cut. <laughs> Then we cannot uh, cramp like this hard artery, so no cramp. Then insert the catheter, balloon catheter. Then uh, block the arterial backflow by balloon. This is a Fogarty uh, two French catheter. The both side we need to, sometimes one side we can cramp, but uh, sometimes we need to both side, bound occlusion both side, proximal and distal. Then balloon inflation, then uh, blood flow are all, almost stop. Blower also, CO2 blower also we can, we use, then uh, blow out the blood, then getting a blood free, uh, surgical field, like this. So next, final, finally, uh, I would like to talk about the saving, salvaging a sweating limb, which endovascular interventionalist has abandoned, like this. And then this is already endovascular treatment uh, performed in other hospital, but uh, they cannot uh, improve the clinical improvement. You cannot get the imp clinical improvements. Then uh, send the patient came to us. Uh, they're terrible. This is a hole in our front outside. Then uh, inflammation, you know, infection uh, there. Also uh, small necrosis here and here. 
and no no graph of but I believe uh, CT scan and echogram show the lateral lateral tarsal artery is open and looks good. Other other arteries are very calcified and no blood flow here. That's calcification. So we decided to perform bypass surgery on the lateral tarsal artery like this. So then a um, patient, oh, this is Japanese, sorry. A uh, vacuum assisted closure method or the several times the development, then getting healed. The final, uh, finally, I would like to uh, uh, introduce my heart at uh, the fascination of this bypass. Is a uh, first of all that the this bypass is a treasure ship, like a treasure ship, learning a surgical skill, decision making skill, and a way of thinking as a vascular surgeon. Also, this bypass has still have room for advancing. This is also that fascinating factor. So we uh, establish uh, this bypass without general anesthesia using blood block anesthesia. Um, also uh, endoscopic saphenous pain harvesting is a uh, good way to reduce uh, invasiveness. Certainty is very important. So we seek, seek a more certainty uh, at the complete of the operation, then we propose that graft flow measurement, uh, then and graft flow, uh, estimated graft flow. But uh, also um, we aim to more durable, durability, but uh, it is not easy because uh, vein graft bypass has uh, answered the big problem intimal hyperplasia like this. So if you overcome the intimal hyperplasia, maybe primary patent is like very high. This is our, uh, resolving uh, intimal hyperplasia the only way to get uh, over wearing you know, durability. So uh, all of us vascular surgeons should aim at this. This is uh, my dream. This is a, this slide shows show that the national annual data of infrapopular arterial reconstruction performed by vascular surgeon. So infra, for infra arterial reconstruction, vascular surgeon in Japan uh, doing a similar number, doing a bypass surgery and endovascular treatment, a similar number. So I think it is good. Uh, I, I believe, uh, but both, endo and bypass a small number so I hope uh, the number are increasing and increasing later. Anyway, uh, I believe that the vascular surgeon should master both endo and open. So this is the final slide. Uh, we uh, plan to do a second digital bypass workshop in Asia next year, October. Uh, it's a timing of uh, Asian vascular society meeting. And thank you for your kind attention. Thank you so much, Dr. Arzuma. That was a great lecture. Uh, just for a sec. Um, all right. Thank you. Thank you for uh, attention. Thank you, so Dr. Arzuma. So total number of the intrapopulitial uh, arterial reconstruction, total number is increasing. And also, yeah. Japanese situation. It's a similar situation in Asian countries too, especially uh, what do you think about China and uh, India because they got the great population. Like yeah, not, yeah, I think a uh, uh, very small number of uh, bypass still a uh, still small number and then the vascular treatment is going up, but uh, maybe uh, this bypass is still very uh, rare. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the disease, PAD, peripheral artery disease, is a very going uh, distal and distal. Mm -hmm. The endovascular treatment is not good for the infrapopular arterial region, so uh, we need to, uh, you know, te technically training. Mm -hmm. 
and then together, then uh, uh, by passage it should have uh, big role for the, the patients. Big role, especially for new generation of the vascular. That, that's right, that's right. Right. So uh, very simple question. Is there a strong correlation between the DM diabetes mellitus and also the PAD, uh, like a distal bypass? That's right. So uh, uh, the diabetes mellitus uh, frequently uh, cause uh, infrapopulity, not femoral, out femoral, infrapopulity uh, often uh, diseased. So um, that's why the foot bypass to the foot is very important. Also, this diabetic patient is uh, need a uh, about big amount of the blood flow mm -hmm. or because uh, they have uh, some uh, disability of wound healing. Mm -hmm. they, therefore, uh, big amount of blood flow, we send a wound big amount of blood flow by bypass surgery and um, also with a big high pressure. That's why diabetes and this bypass is good correlation. Good correlation. And also yeah. the uh, patient population is uh, rapidly increasing. Yeah, that's right. In Asia, yeah. In East Asia? Asia, yeah. Wow, that's so uh, it's total maybe three to four billion population. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. that's right. All right, so this all bypass procedure and also way of thinking, it's uh, very critical. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Thank you. Uh, that was a great lecture. And uh, now, this is not only the didactic lecture, so we do an uh, exercise too. So mm -hmm. handle, this is, uh, now it's a time for online of the job training, online simulation training. Okay, presented by uh, Dr. Akio Koyama. Okay, so I'll give you some uh, camera to you, okay? Okay, briefly say hello to the audience again, Dr. Koyama, hello. Oh, you're mute, you're on mute, okay? Okay. Okay, please mute, Dr. Koyama, you're mute. Yeah, this has always happened. Dr. Koyama, I just uh, turned off. Okay. okay. Now we can you hear. Okay. Can hear? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what you what uh, are you going to show to the audience now? Please yeah. explain briefly, please. Not so. Uh, sound is not so good. All I, right. I can so we, we, okay. Now we start uh, oh. online simulation training using Yokan. Uh, it's a coronary artery. Uh, this is arterial model and also venous graft model and Tamatebako simulator, which is invented by uh, Dr. Azuma and I, EVM Corporation. Okay, so I switch the camera to the simulator. So okay, okay. Uh, now can we start now? Uh, okay, we start. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, sorry, zoom out, zoom in, please. Zoom in. Zoom in. Yes. Yes, yes. More, okay. more, more. No more. More, more, more. The same angle as the time. Okay, more, more. More, more. More, more. more. more, more. Yeah. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Maximum, maximum. Okay, this is good, better. So, Dr. Azuma, is it okay? Okay. Uh, that looks great. Great, great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, today everything's a smooth and well organized. So let's yeah, yeah. Let's start, please. So, Dr. Azuma, uh, I want to ask you about the uh, number of the training before, like, uh, doing clinical real cases. So, uh, how many like uh, anastomotic training needed do you think before prior to do uh, operate real clinical distal bypass cases? Uh, that's not the easy question, but there uh, maybe um, so uh, in the clinical setting, uh, surgeons should not uh, wondering which 
side they should leave the thread or something. So maybe uh, in Tamatebako, maybe five each five five times training in each box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, I think uh, at least uh, for the clinical uh, operation can start. They can start. All right, so you don't have to use uh, all the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patient. Each five. <laughs> Each five. It means at least 40, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. They got eight holes on the <laughs> yeah, But that's important. So, yeah, so legs are both left and right, so opposite angle. All so right. That, yeah, that's a great. Uh, Tamate Boku is good. All right, so uh, vascular surgeon have to, uh, should be able to design the graft three dimensional orientation and mm -hmm. uh, also imagine the blood flow. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Everything. Yeah. So your fundamental skills, like a basic skills, has to be uh, precise, right? Yeah, that's right. So every and single needle. That's right. So and the careful for the especially uh, take care of the inside of the vessel. All right. In chemo. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Koyama, actually the yeah. camera is a little uh, like a slided. So uh, can you fix it? Yes. Yeah, camera is a little moved. Okay. Can you fix the camera? Can you fix the camera, please? Thank you. Yeah, or sorry. Great, thank you, okay. And zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, yeah. zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. More, 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 more. Oh, no, 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 no. More, okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, at the heel side, I use a start fix continuous suture. Mm -hmm. And the heel side, I, I use the Interruptive suture, probably three. All right. Mm, we can see your finger. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. So this is on on air and on live program. So Dr. Koyama, are you nervous a little bit, or yeah. you're relaxed? Oh, maybe it's the concentration. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> awesome. All right, always happens. So, Dr. Azuma, actually, live cases is uh, more difficult than uh, some stressful, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm. Yeah. And also, good practice for young surgeons, right? This yeah, that's, especially in the simulator. Yeah. yeah, that's a good practice. And then, uh, in under the uh, tension, mm -hmm. uh, feeling the tension. So uh, I found uh, vascular surgeon's uh, specialty is kind of the mental toughness. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Uh, vascular surgeons have to continue the uh, stitch. And uh, if you don't satisfy the quality, you have to do redo uh, mm. uh, during the operation, right? Right. So also, also that, uh, that the artery is not healthy. Uh, maybe some uh, redo uh, surgery also needed. So mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, always uh, stick to the patient and uh, maybe some, sometimes need uh, several times to do a, a operation or revision or something. Also care, should care the wound. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so you're right, so. So, uh, Professor Azuma, so how do you make your mental mind neutral, like a relaxed position during the harder cases? Mm. There... Yes. But the teamwork is very important. Teamwork, yeah. Yeah. So, at the, um, we are one team, or maybe uh, several. Maybe at least we have uh, two surgeons um, suturing uh, proximal 
and the other side, other side featuring were uh, this other side. Mm -hmm. So maybe three or four doctors or uh, have a had uh, make a team team to do a uh, uh, long. Sometimes takes four hours or five hours. So four hours, five hours. Yeah. Yes. So that team team yeah, is very important. <clears throat> That's great. So encourage together uh, to until to get your uh, good satisfied result. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you sharing the strategy and the basic principles of the process? That's right. Yeah, it's, that's a uh, uh, important essential. So how you how do you share uh, your like a basic principle and a procedure with team? Like a root, rootly. Hmm. So this is the teaching and the educating. So that the object of training is very important. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we do our object of training uh, by uh, you know individual, but uh, we can we cannot do our, um, individual teaching uh, mm -hmm. for the doctor in the living in the remote side. Okay. So this uh, remote educating system is very uh, unique and important, I think, especially in the era of the uh, COVID-19. All right. So it's a new style of the training, online and also simulator. This combination is a powerful solution, you're thinking. All right. And uh, also, you I know you're very, very busy, super busy surgeons. And uh, how do you make the communication with a team? It's a very simple question. So I just curious. Yeah, how do how do you build your team? Because you're very busy. Uh -huh. Yeah, how do how do you saving time for communication for a team? So that the, at least the pre-operating conference is very important. Mm -hmm. So we are discussing a strat strategy. Patient uh, has an individual problem, uh, risk factors, uh, so the different type of the disease or uh, location or something like that. And the vein graft is not good or good. At that time, we are discussing uh, that strategy. Then uh, that time, uh, we share the thing with the thinking. That's a, I think, a very important part. Okay, so pre-operative conference, you share is a way of thinking and strategy of the process. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Then, uh, um, for young doctor, so we share the operate operation during operation, maybe some part of anastomosis. Uh, not all of them, but the something they can do. There are several, uh, some, uh, not only one operating field. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe young surgeon can do something to the, in the operation. Then they can, uh, you know, if they are working hard and training skill up, we can, uh, share the operation with them and their uh, show up the skill for us then uh, maybe total operation they can do all right maybe. that is very important part for young surgeon training mm -hmm. so dr azuma so what part of the procedure is a good to start do you think it means a very safe and easy to be recovered right Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's a correct. So, um, but femoral, femoral artery, uh, man, man, manipulation of the femoral artery is a very good uh, and also popular method. Then we teach uh, very precisely and detailly. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they go back to their their own desk, then doing a office of training, All then right. next to next uh, little bit middle size of the artery, you then know. small size of the artery. 
All right. So starting point is a femoral artery is a good like yeah. to start. Then to, that's right. Bias, then a little by a little. Maybe. Right, 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 right. Right, that's a good point. And also, okay, coming back to uh, Dr. Koyama, uh, yeah. how do you find the uh, Azuma his operation, his technique? Is there any tips and pitfalls do you find? Yeah. Sorry. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, I mentioned it, it's always uh, the distal bypass in uh, e, e, uh, endorenal. Diabetic renal uh, uh, failure. Um, the distal bypass is a problem. Is a heavy constipation. So I um, I mention uh, this uh, uh, stick a needle at the right. Uh, uh, stick a needle at the right hand. And uh, hold the eagle shortly is the best mm -hmm. method for the uh, the distal bypass. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the interrupted uh, as the heel side interrupted suture is the best method for the uh, distal bypass. So, I I start this uh, two side from now. Mm -hmm. What I think of it. Vitamin needs. I use that interactive suture at the two sides. Can you see? Can you see this? Yeah. Graft outside in, and also it's a side, right? Center of the. When this. Okay. Now he's sinking the needle to the native arteries using yes. culture. Body of the needle. Is it yes. the tips uh, technique? Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. So. so um, yeah, I also uh, <coughs> rip the center of the needle. Uh, mm -hmm. Similar way. So to avoid the damage, the intima of the native artery, right? Mm So, could you tell me, the, Dr. Koyama, could you tell me the size of the thread is 7-0? Yes, 7-0. 7-0? Yes. Uh, it's uh, always I use 7-0 proline for mm -hmm. crural artery. Uh -huh. How about so, foot artery? Foot artery, uh, uh, seven and the para parabola is a seven seven zero proline, but mm -hmm. sometimes is a I use a eight zero proline. But severe classification, I use a seven mm. seven zero proline. Mm -hmm. If this is small. I like your uh, technique because you are able to um, fit a uh, right angle, uh, like a, uh, deep angles. Yeah. Mm. So in the, for the uh, native artery. Yes. Uh, and it is important uh, as a big bite is the best method for the this are bypass. 
Und Dr. Azuma, so what this online simulation training is a clear, clear view for you? Yes, yeah, oh. very clear and yeah, that's good. So how to set the camera? All right, so he's using the iPhone actually. IPhone. 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 With using that mm. small tripod, what is small tripod? So mm. some we got the autofocus autofocus uh, problem. Mm. However, he makes it zoom in a little more. Maybe we can see it's an autofocus and the fuzzy view. But like setup is very important. Yeah, mm. yeah. Online training, however, still useful. We can see the even seminal suture. We can clearly see. Mm. Hmm. Maybe we want to involve, engage some aging vascular surgeons. Uh, next problem, maybe. That's we, right. Yeah. So maybe we will contact some Singapore surgeon or China surgeon. The Chinese surgeon. Do you have any good contact? Yeah, yeah. I so uh, I have friend, a friend, a friend of the Singapore vascular surgeon. Also, maybe um, at the when I go to an Asian conference, mm -hmm. uh, Indian surgeon, vascular surgeon is very, you know, motivated and then, uh, always asks me something. So Indian or also Vietnam surgeon. A Vietnam surgeon. Oh. Yeah, Vietnam is not, so never uh, perform, this bypass is nothing. All right. Yeah, but uh, they want to do. Um, highly motivated and they can have a, they have a good skill so uh, I want to teach them also wow number is zero 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 yes zero oh which city uh, which Vietnamese surgeon which city from is uh, Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi I think Hanoi I'm, I forgot the yeah, City, that's but, so uh, good because uh, EBM, uh, my company, got the uh, hot free in Vietnam. So oh, really? I can support, yeah. Mm. So, right. so in Vietnam, uh, they before they learning the distal bypass, that endovascular treatment is coming and okay. uh, imported. Then uh, all vascular surgeons are learning endovascular first. Then the uh, distal bypass is nothing. And no, ne, ever, uh, they don't know the technique and also method and thinking the way. So uh, that's a, uh, uh, we. That's why we need to uh, do can do something for them. All right, Doctor mm -hmm. that is very important point. So not only the Vietnam, but also other con Asian countries. Yes, that's right. It's the same co same condition, right? Mm. So still, the stall bypass is a essential necessary option. Yeah, right. Okay, so Dr. Koyama, so yes. you're nearly done, nearly finished. Yeah. And next is a uh, running future at the side. Okay. Far side, right? Person, yes. Mm. All right. So now you're doing exposure using four steps. So check in the position of aiming, aiming point, right? Yeah. Mm. In uh, specification, I can stick the needle. Mm. So I sometimes push the adventure to the 
like this. Hmm. So aborting is very important, uh, but are you and then you are doing a uh, and be careful to that. You you are already always are careful to do. So that's good. Careful. Uh, take care of the aborting situation. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, so here's the intima of the graft and the native artery of the intima is a touching. So that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. yeah seamless. Hmm. And also he's focusing on that, right? <laughs> That's right, that's right. I, I want it. Yeah, yeah. we can find it. So Dr. Koyama, so audiences that uh, uh, we can see, uh, you're always in care of the intima and intima touching. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So, are you? Why don't you use your toe thread? Yeah, uh, I I almost a uh, toe thread because I can see the lumen like mm -hmm. this. So mm -hmm. I switch at the uh, from the heel side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in heavy and yeah small size vessel. If the if the small bus says this, I can use a two side thread. Okay. So I'm doing a running suture from toe and the heel together, then uh, tying or both two thread in the center with the lateral side. So we are. Oh. oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yep. Oh, today's oh. camera work is very smooth. OK, please zoom in. Zoom Again, in. Max, maximum zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. More, 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 more. Twice more. Yes, more. Closer, closer. <clears throat> more. Closer, closer. More. Zoom in, please. Okay. Zoom in, please. Maximum. 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 Yes. This is maximum. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see. Wow. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I push the camera. I will. Yeah. Just now. Can you move the camera a little bit left, please? Left. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 So uh, this is for tips of the online of the job simulation training. If colleague is that you want to try the online training, just uh, check the camera and the camera angle is a problem. And also, uh, sound is a very difficult to control. So uh, mm. one Zoom system in each room. So uh, other Zoom have to be mute. mute. Mm -hmm. No speaker, no microphone, only one microphone, one yes. speaker in the mm -hmm. same room. Otherwise, a uh, super echo noise. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, uh, listen. Okay, nearly he's a finish. Yes, finished. Mm. And, uh, yes, and yes, yes. I can go uh, from the side. Mm.
So, Dr. Koyama, uh, what type of the instrument you use, like a needle holders or links, and also forceps? Your castro, right? 18 centimeters? Uh, sorry. Uh, your, uh, instrument, your instruments, what, uh, what instrument do you use? Uh, castro? Uh, castro. Castro, yes. Yeah, uh, length, 18 centimeters. Uh, probably. Uh, 20. Uh, 20, all right. 20. Uh, the same, uh, we, we use uh, usually uh, use the uh, digital bypass. Mm. That's it. I, I, I rent the kit today. Mm. So, uh, providing or same uh, instrument for the young doctor, same as a daily surgery, clinical use device. We are, I'm uh, providing a clin clinical use uh, instrument for the young doctors. Mm. For yeah. That's uh, important also. Yeah, right. same, same device they can do mm -hmm. practice. All right, last one. Last, yes. Last one, stitch. Yep. Hmm. One action. So one action. Uh, so it's the final stitch, uh, sh one action should be one action, but uh, so that's why uh, we are uh, doing a one action, the center of the lateral side, not toe side. Not toe side. Mm -hmm. Because the uh, toe side is very important. All right. Also, patency of the toe is a very essential for a flow. flow mm -hmm. That's the right. Engineering viewpoint also, yeah. August, not tying. How many times you do make a knot tying? Uh, so, sorry. How many times you make the knot? How many uh, knot? Five, five, five or six. Five or six. Or six, yeah, knot. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sometimes uh, I push the camera. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Just, uh, that's okay. Okay, so wait a minute. <laughs> okay, relax, relax. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I oh. cut. Mm -hmm. can, you, uh, show, can you show us the uh, outcome okay. outside first? So can you fix the camera a little bit left, please? Camera left and zoom in. Okay. And uh, we cut. We cut and open. We check the lumen, luminal shape. I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry, wait a minute. Hmm. So I, um, I open the luminal. Okay. Mm. You, we. So, uh, intima of the graft is a white colors. Mm -hmm. And native intima is a white colors. So, white, very important. So, okay, so maybe we do some focus. We need some focus of the graft. Okay, Dr. Azuma, assessment, comment, please. Yeah, the Look like that here is very good. Abutting and no uh, irregular part. Maybe this is a cutting. Maybe uh, this this graft is a uh, material is 
a very good sometime cutting like this, so a little bit fragile. But uh, I think uh, the good shape uh, is uh, also toe, toe side is very important and very smooth. Of the intima, in, regarding the uh, uh, inside shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, so Dr. Azuma, is there any brush up point to uh, any point, any to brush up his skill one round more? Like, yeah, yeah. So the suturing is very uh, te technically suturing is very good, and then uh, so only uh, that uh, strategy. So here side, he uh, using a uh, interrupted suture, mm -hmm. but we prefer that the uh, heel side the parachute. Then uh, toe side is uh, stitch, stitch, uh, it's the same strategy for us. Mm -hmm. But the uh, running suture of the lateral wall should be uh, um, tying a center, I, I, I believe that. And the abutting is good. And then uh, this is a little bit many thread in a toe. So a little bit uh, di difficult to device. So maybe a center of the corner, a center of the lateral side, maybe. I mean, uh, Suturing lateral side should be uh, both coming from the heel and the toe, then tying center. I believe uh, like this. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, he his technique is very good. Thank you. Uh, so, Dr. Koyama, is there any yeah. question? So you finished a, a very good job, and I thank you for our demonstration. And do you have any good uh, question? Technical uh, point. Technical viewpoint. A question to Dr. Azuma because this is a very uh, uh, rare opportunity. Uh, yeah, like that's right. Because, because we, I know Dr. Koyama in a academic meeting conference, but not clinical. So this is a good opportunity to know uh, the very distant, maybe nowhere and Asahikawa, maybe more than a thousand kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> Now distance okay. is uh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, that's a good opportunity to meet and to yeah. know the technique and the strategy for other departments. Thank you. Uh, I want to go to Takas uh, Asahikawa to, <laughs> yeah. to see the web operations. Uh, uh, yeah, real operations. Mm. Okay. Yeah, very welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. Mm. Everybody, thank you for watching this program. Uh, brush up for bypass, way, uh, way of thinking and strategies. So today's broadcast is uh, 18 minutes and uh, it's a uh, so fruitful. Uh, I hope this is a fruitful program for you. Uh, and uh, this simula simulator, Tamate Bako, uh, which was invented by Dr. Azuma and IBM, is uh, also a uh, commercial uh, for international. So you can train, you can start training now, anytime. Okay, so uh, last part, finishing closing chorus. So uh, some, Dr. Azuma, uh, the Dr. Yama, I, I right. some comment for audiences, international audiences. Okay, Dr. Koyama. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for listening, uh, hearing me. Uh, the digital purpose is a uh, main method for the vascular surgeon. Please try it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And a very great demonstration. Thank you so much. Dr. Azuma, thank you for taking your time and a great didactic lecture and also uh, real-time assessment and a feedback uh, to the online uh, simulation training. Uh, is it fun for you? How did you find this program? Yeah, very. It's very fun, and then uh, I wanted. I want to uh, meet uh, many uh, young doctor, surgeon, uh, to uh, like this situation, and then I want to see them their technique, strategy, 
uh, discussing each other. So this kind of opportunity uh, very welcome and then, uh, maybe uh, uh, popularized. Oh, I hope to popularize this. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity. Thank kind you, invitation. So that Professor Azuma, that means uh, that is your offer, kind of offer. Uh, <laughs> This uh, monthly yeah. series, and uh, we are welcoming the international guest, mm. or as uh, like uh, Anastomosos. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And at that time, maybe EBM uh, and uh, other medical company can support to mm -hmm. uh, surgeon in Asian countries sending yeah. letters and uh, using Zoom system. Maybe one guest or two guests in this mm. brush up series. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Great idea. All right. So idea. Russia Clinical okay. Pipers is kind of the pro series program. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for uh, time. And now it's uh, 11 past uh, 22 past 11. Uh, have a good lunch. And this is <laughs> 11. Yeah. Have a good weekend and uh, have a good time mm. with your family and a friend. Okay, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you in months. And the next day that we welcome in Global Guests. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Oscar Samadesta.